All right, guys, welcome to your ninth biology tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about sugars. Sugar is pretty cool, right? Tastes pretty good. But now we have to learn about it scientifically. So an example of some sugars would be like glucose. Um, what did I tell you guys about already? I think I talked about sucrose. Su wow, I can't even spell it. Sucrose fructose, which is fruit sugar. And if you see a little pattern forming, then you are correct. Basically, os, os, os. Anything that ends in os is indeed a sugar. Now, sugars are a special type of carbohydrate, and a property that they have is that they dissolve in water. And another cool thing is that they usually taste sweet and they form crystals. And um, just to show you guys the chemical formula of this, glucose would be a carbohydrate with a chemical formula. Probably shouldn't have wrote that OSC. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Glucose has the chemical formula of C6H12O6. And interestingly enough, fructose also has the chemical formula of C6H12O6. Now, the reason that you know glucose and fructose aren't the exact same things is that even though they have the same atoms in each one of them they're bonded together differently so that's why they have different names and sucrose believe it or not like I said in the last tutorial is glucose combined with fructose however it has a chemical formula of C let me write this in a different color It'd be easier to see C 12 H 22 O 11 now if you're saying okay if you're saying that glucose whenever you combine it with fructose makes sucrose, then why isn't it C C twelve H twenty four O twelve? Since that would give you the ratio of one two one, which you said was needed to become a carbohydrate. And if you listen, I said carbohydrates usually have a ratio of one to one, but because of the way glucose and fructose bond together to make sucrose, it gives you a really weird ratio. And actually, I want to talk to you guys about that process of two monosaccharides coming together. And that's a process called dehydration synthesis. Now, if you break this word apart, you can see that dehydration, what's that mean? Well, dehydration means... Uh, removal of water and synthesis whenever someone says the synthesizing something it pretty much means makes something so pretty much if you look at dehydration synthesis it means that when monosaccharides join together it involves the two molecules bonding and therefore losing a water molecule so when glucose which is C And fructose, which is the same thing, 1206, come together. This is what happens through a process of dehydration synthesis. They form, remember I said sucrose, which is table sugar, which is C12H22O11. And this process is called dehydration synthesis. So I know I got a lot of stuff written down, but one last time. Uh, let me go ahead and give it, give it to you guys in a simple, you know, kind of fashion. Dehydration synthesis is when monosaccharides, this one and this one, join together and it involves the two molecules bonding and through the process it loses a water molecule. So that's why the formula appears a little bit weird. And the opposite of this is hydrolysis. And let me go ahead and get a new slide. Now hydrolysis would be something like uh, C12H22O11, which remember is our disaccharide called sucrose. Now whenever this would break apart, which is the opposite of dehydration synthesis, this process would be called hydrolysis. And of course this would break apart into C6H12O6, C6H12O6. So basically, one last time, well, I might as well go ahead and go over everything real quick. All right, so to recap one last time, and I'll explain it in a way that's going to uh, remain in your brain. Sugars are a special type of carbohydrates that dissolve in water, and they usually end in O 
GLSE, like glucose, sucrose, fructose. That way, if you ever read the back of a label and it says something with O's, you know that you're about to buy something with a sugar in it. And sugars also, as you know, taste sweet and they form crystals. So that's all we need to know about sugars. Now, dehydration synthesis is basically the process of when monosaccharides like um, glucose and fructose, they join together, and whenever the molecules bond, they lose a water molecule. So that's why it's called dehydration, which means removal of water, synthesis, which means making something. So dehydration synthesis, whenever you make something and take away water in the process, and the opposite of that is called hydrolysis. And that's S I S. Okay, so hydrolysis is basically whenever you have, um, well, it doesn't always have to be like this, but in this instance, whenever you have sucrose and you break it apart, and then what happens is you break down the sugars into their original monosaccharides, which is glucose and fructose. So there is your kind of definition of what everything is. Um, now I hope you have a little better understanding of sugars. And also, I wanted to tell you guys about dehydration synthesis and also hy hydrolysis because I'm going to be using that terminology in the upcoming videos, and I didn't want to get you, uh, get you guys confused. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.